Hi everyone, Caitlin from Compass here. I'm excited to take you through a brand new module, which is our seating plans module. So this is integrated across Compass throughout your locations and your class pages, and also integrates with your student data. It's a really good way to increase classroom behavior, um, engagement, and also classroom management. So first thing I'll do is pop into Location Manager, which can be found under the cog icon and under Administration Tools. In here, I'll pop to Location Manager, just under here. And this is where we can put predefined classroom layouts against each relevant location at the school. So if I click to edit my first location here, which is Classroom 1A, you'll notice a new button down the bottom here called Manage Layouts. When I click on this button, I'm allowed to create as many layouts as I like relevant to this specific classroom, Classroom 1A. So I've already created a standard classroom layout, a U-shaped classroom layout. You can have as many or as little as you need in here. Um, this is also really handy for things like exams where you might make an exam seating plan or something like science labs, art rooms that have kind of a different seating plan as well. So I'll just click on my standard one to show you what that looks like. Um, I have already created this one as you can see, but it's really simple to click on a cell, add a seat, whether it's facing up, down, left, right, at a teacher's desk, just like I've done here, and also create more rows and columns, depending how big your classroom is. So just as an example, I might click on this one and delete the seat. And now I wanna add it back just facing right. All I have to do is create as many seating plans as I need, hit save, and this will now be attributed to classroom 1A. As a teacher, I will go to my class page. So I'll just pop out a location manager now and go right to my class page. So I teach year 10 science, I can go straight from my role here. And now you'll notice again, another little bit new button, which is called seating plan, just under the attributes section here. When I click on the seating plan button, it will bring up any layouts that are relevant to me in my classroom. So I can select from my room layout if I wanna use the U shape, the standard or whatever I've created and you can also create them from scratch. So I can set up my own columns and rows and create my own brand new classroom if I would like to. I'm just gonna select one that's already been made today. So I'll use that standard classroom, click add, and it will bring in the layout we already had a look at. So now I've just got to place the students. I've got 15 students in my science class and it's really easy to see any custom flags if they've been placed or not, as well as student photos. So all we need to do is click on a student. So I'm gonna place David, and I'm actually gonna put him right near the teacher because maybe he needs a bit of extra help. So now he's moved over to green, he's placed, and I just have to do the rest with the other students. So I might pop Alara next to David, I might put Jenny over here, I might put Kenna over here, and you can imagine you run through and set up everyone and everyone where they're sitting. You can then absolutely export this as a PDF, so that's just with this little download button down the bottom, or you can pop this up on the screen for students to look at. So a nice, simple module, really easy to use, really easy to understand, um, and hopefully it helps streamline a lot of your processes at the school. We'd love to show you a bit more and get you started on seating plans, so feel free to reach out to us, and we look forward to working with you. Thanks so much.